You guys, look what we have here. Oh my goodness. Do you know what that is? Some people call them bush crickets. It's a katydid. We have what appears to be a female katydid based on the ovipositor at the rear end of her abdomen. Let me back up here so we can get her in focus. You see the long pointy structure at the end of her abdomen? That is for depositing eggs on stems of plants or other areas. Now what she's doing on the screen, I'm not sure. They are a <clears throat> arthropod, they're in phylum arthropoda, uh, which means that they have jointed appendages. <clears throat> Um, and they are a type of insect, a six-legged creature. But anyway, they exhibit a type of mimicry that allows them to be camouflaged with their environment. Now, her natural environment is on a plant. Notice how her wings look exactly like leaves. And that's going to camouflage her from her predators. So my chickens, for example, they would come out here and have a good morning snack. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put her on a tree. Now, the cool thing about these guys is scientists have determined that their chirping song, which is usually made by the males, can actually tell you the outdoor temperature. For example, the number of chirps that a male Katie did would make in a matter of like 15 seconds plus like 30 sec 30 something um, is going to tell you the temperature of the environment in Fahrenheit. Now, you can usually find these guys in late summer. Right now it's August in North Mississippi, but and you can find these guys all around the world, anywhere that it's warm and tropical. Um, um, and the males have some pointed structures on their hind legs that allow them to kind of act like a violin bow. Um, so they will rub their hind legs on their abdomen, which I'm not going to lift her wing up and show you uh, but that allows them to make their chirping noise so they again kind of play their song like a violin by rubbing their legs on their abdomen let's go ahead and move her you can determine what they eat by the structure and shape of their mouth parts come here there you go i'm pretty sure she's not gonna bite me Oh, and we're on, we're on the phone. So, um, hi. Okay, can, can we get a close up here? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and move you. And I'm shaking really bad. Please don't go up my arm. Woo. Okay, we're just gonna put the phone here and <laughs> that's as far as you get to go, Missy. We're gonna take you to safety. Ooh, look at that mouth. Thanks for the close-up, lady. Oh, you're not tasting me, are you? That tickles my arm hair. She is tasting me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and walk a little bit past the dog pool and go over to the crepe myrtle. Here we go. I'm gonna give you a good leaf. Good leaf up here. Here we go, up here where the chickens can't get you. Focus, focus. We don't want to focus anymore. Okay. Uh. Get up there. Go on. There she goes. I'm going to get her back in focus in just a second. All right, you beautiful arthropod. They're pretty decent to have in your garden because they eat smaller insects. Um, and they'll also eat the occasional flower, but for the most part, they're beneficial insects. So she gets to stay. Let's go ahead and lay your eggs, lady. Make some more. <laughs> 